This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating the retention factor value. The retention factor value can be used to identify the components of a mixture. It is defined as the ratio of the distance travelled by the solute to the distance travelled by the solvent. So here we have the equation for calculating the retention factor. So it's the distance travelled by the solute divided by the distance travelled by the solvent front. So next we look at an example. On the left we have a chromatogram produced in a chromatography experiment. At the origin we have a sample of the mixture to be separated. The mixture then separates into its components. So here we have two components, A and B. The distance travelled by the solvent is known as the solvent front. The distance travelled by the two components is measured as halfway between the bottom and the top point. So here we have the distance travelled by the solvent front, the distance travelled by component A and the distance travelled by component B. So next we'll use this data to calculate the retention factor values. So starting with component A, we have the distance travelled by the component which is 4 cm divided by the distance travelled by the solvent front which is 10 cm which gives us a retention factor value of 0.4. For component B we have 8 cm divided by 10 cm which gives us a retention factor of 0.8. The components can be identified by comparing their retention factor values to those of known compounds. So in this table we have compound X and compound Y and their retention factor values. Here we have the retention factor values that we calculated earlier for components A and B. So by comparing the retention factor values we can see that component A is compound X and component B is compound Y. 